What's up guys, Deuce here back with another video today. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about mad crows and crow crows and what you need to do to mint mad crows. Okay, so we're gonna talk about mad bucks as well and pretty much get into the new collection that's gonna be dropping in about a week or so. Mad crows, you're gonna use your mad bucks to mint these. You're also gonna have to be required to have some crow crows as well. So we're gonna jump into the process of the minting requirements and most importantly, the utilities that you're gonna be very impressed with if you are a crow crow holder. And I am myself. So I'm really interested in sharing this medium article with you guys. And uh, yeah, if you are a Mad Bucks holder, you might be interested in looking at this as well as a future investment. So guys, in this episode, I'm actually bringing along my team with me, some members from the boardroom, and we're going to actually discuss this together in a video. Thought it'd be cool to show you guys, give you a taste of what it's like every day in the boardroom. All right. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I will see you guys at the end of the video. Stick around, smash the like, subscribe, hit the notifications if you love the info. I'll see you guys soon. Peace. Yeah, man. Well, we single-handedly rose the floor from 4, 485 to 600, 630. Just us. Yeah, it was just us. <laughs> we cleaned it up. We brought it up. <laughs> what are they called again? Crow crows. Let's see this. Wait a minute. Yeah. 640 crow, dude. I can't believe it. Yeah. That, that's impressive, dude. Because to have these guys at 640 crow, I'm just like blown away right now, man. Especially in the market that it is right now. That means it's going to go up as it recovers. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty total sleeper, too. And once those royalties start getting dished out for crow crow holders, I mean, that's like the, the ETH cat of the of the crow crow except for plus you get royalties which you don't get so that's what cat. we should jump into right now let's check out that uh medium article 43.70 on m share hey did you see the floor price for the crow crow Ooh, oh my god insane bro freaking insane crow I mean, I sold my crow crow I got for a hundred for like three hundred, and I went and bought one for like three fifty. Uh, when I heard about this mad thing, and then I got another one for four nineteen. Like nice. when I started getting, when I heard that you need two of them, it's six forty right now, man. It's I'm insane. Out of I'm here just so you know, I'm out of them sure. You're out. Are you? I'm still in it. Yo, what's up with these crow crows? Yo, shout out to Emshire. Yeah, yeah. Shout, shout, out out shout out to Emshire. Shout out to though. Look at this beautiful yeah. fucking crow crow. crow, crow. Let's start here. If you have been shaking your crows on the MM Treehouse platform for that awesome mad boost, this is for you. We also have very good news for all crow crow holders. Let's get started. A total of 3,333 mad crows are getting ready to take over the Chronos chain and spread pure madness. The crows have been drawn by a length over the last month, and the collection is probably the best one we have ever released in terms of attention to detail and overall effort. There is over 200 unique attributes, and I believe the quality of work will simply spread speak for itself on the reveal day mint requirements so the mint requirements are to mint a mad crow you will need two crow crows available for breeding in your wallet and spend the mad price the two crows can be used unlimited times and there is no limit of mints per wallet that's dope purchase crow crows at ibizu's bay purchase mad at mad mm finance it's probably going to be at their website you think right um I think the mint's going to be on the same website where we um, bred the crow crows for the right. for the crow punks. I think well, it'll remember. There's you know on that interface, you kind of like uh, it looks similar to the stake in the treehouse where you put your boosters. There's like two windows, and you put your two crows in there, mm -hmm. get them all hot and heavy, and then oh yeah, like we're mint crow punk, <laughs> just like mint crow. Yeah, punk. yeah. Yeah, for sure. And then it'll just pop out a mad crow. Yeah, they'll probably it's have an cool. interface just like that. And your crows will be at the bottom and you select them like you said. It's going to be. Yeah, dope. I like how they. I also like how they've made it so you can breed it as many times as you want with just two crows. Right. I'm happy about that too, actually. But the, the desire to hold more crows is 
because of all those extra royal those royalties that you're gonna get. Right. This is the part where I kind of want to have us like break down the price mechanic. Selling a collection at below market clearing price ensures that it will be sold out quickly, but it also creates race where only the fastest manage to grab a piece and a lot of people get left out. Vitalik Buterin wrote a very interesting article about this. This is why we decided to go for a last price Dutch auction. The mint price will start at 100 mad and will be reduced every five minutes until reaching a final price of 10 mad after two hours. Now what does that mean exactly? I think what it means is so basically as the mad price comes down, it becomes more desirable and cheaper for your retail investors, right? So I think like what they referred to that Dutch auction, I think it's meaning once it gets down to, you know, the 20, 15, 10 mad that it's going to mint out really extremely fast because because retail, smaller retail investors are going to see that as a deal. So the small guys are going to wait. Possibly, yeah. See, here's the thing. Okay, let's just read on a little bit more after that. The price of the last mint will be recorded as the final price, and you will receive a refund equal to the difference between your mint price and the last mint price. For example, if you mint a 50 mad at the last sale is at 20 mad, you will receive a 30 mad refund. So the mint price will start at 100 mad, right? So let's say I buy 100 mad and it goes down to 10 mad for the last price. It actually goes down there. I'm going to get a 90 mad refund. Yep. So in essence, what I was trying to ask earlier is it's best to go as soon as possible, right? Wait. But doesn't going just as soon as possible just kind of guarantee you the fact that you're going to get one? But then you're yeah. going to end up paying the average price regardless anyways, right? But you've just guaranteed yourself a, a spot in the game. Exactly. But the reason why I was saying you're going to have like an amped up sale for smaller investors is because, you know, let's say somebody has a bag of their, their bag is only 50 mad or 100 mad, but they want, you know, five or 10 of these. Well, when they see that hit 10 mad and they have 50 mad, they can now mint out five of them. Yeah. Yeah, hit five of them. Yeah, that's all I mean. It just makes it easier to mint more of them with less uh, capital behind you. So if it if I do, let's say I do necessarily buy five of them at 100 mad each, right? And then I have to bank on the sale going to 10 mad to, to get my money like 90% back on each sale, right? Yeah, but if it, I mean, you know, if it mints out, if it mints out, uh, by the time it hits 20 mad, then you're still going to get your difference from the 100 mad to the 20 mad. Just right. the average price that everybody pays is that 20 mad price. But I mean, the, if it sells out that quick, that, and it, you know, it's, it finishes the sale before the two hour timer at yeah. 20 mad, as an example, it's good because it shows a lot of bullish sentiment. Like a lot of people are minting these really quickly. So that should also, if the, if, if it mints out before it hits the 10 mad, you're going to see that nice, you know, strong floor price in the secondary market as well. Right. Because it, it you know minted out a higher. See, you know what else you'll see is you're going to see a really cool uh, price action effect to, to the mad token. If this starts to, to mint out fast at the beginning of the mint, you might see a real good little rocket on the on the map. Yes, too. absolutely. Kind of it's going to bring some kind of want, desire, demand for sure. Because these, oh. what we're about to get into next is fucking super bullish for me. We went through that. So prices are not 100% definitive and might slightly be adjusted as we approach the mint date, depending on the overall feeling of the community. The refund period will be automatically started on the contract and available for claiming on the mint page as soon as the collection is sold out. And here's the mad burn and airdrop. So this is how the airdrops work. 50% of mad raised will be permanently burnt. 25% will be airdropped to the Crow Crow holders. 25% will be sent to the Crow Crow team treasury. You heard that right. 25% for Crow Crow holders. That means if we sold out at 50 mad, so 50 times 3,333 in the collection equals 166,650 mad raised. You times that by 0.25, which is 25% to Crow Crow holders. So 166,650 times 0.25 equals 41,662 mad for Crow Crow holders. That's a lot. 41,662 
41. Which is massive. Massive. 41,662 like mad times. So Crow Crows are 7,777. So you divide that. Yeah. And each Crow Crow now gets 5.3 mad airdropped yeah, per Crow. I, that means get out there and get your Crow Crows now while you can. <laughs> yeah. And the price of well, Crow Crow right now. T Squeezy just popped in here and was like, "Did you see the price?" Yeah, yeah, six hundred forty. Six forty. Six forty. Right now, bro. Squeeze, did yeah. you see him the other day? Yeah, three forty, three fifty, I think. Not yes. like, what, last no, week. No, the other day it was like four ninety. Yeah. Uh, after that thing, I got I got one as soon as that medium article posted. Oh my god. I got one. As soon as it said you needed two, price was already in the fours, and I got another one, luckily, for 419 And then at yeah. the end of that day, it was 490 and I hadn't looked since. But I wasn't expecting 460 or 650 or 640 or whatever. No, me neither, bro. Feeney told me last night there were like six something or, or whatever. So how much, is, uh, how much is a match, bro, worth? How much is it? What can I get for selling it or flipping this motherfucker? I don't know if you really want to. Did you check out all those rewards? So if you currently own 10 crows, right? So you get five. If we, if they sold out at 50 per, right? And if you own 10 crow crows, and I think I own about 8 to 10, you might just receive 53 mad simply for holding, bro. That'd be like a, yeah, that'd be a pretty nice little bonus, eh? And mad is how much right now? 10 would take you to 50. It's 250 bucks, 300 bucks that they'd be giving you right now. If you had ten of these things, holy shit! Eight ninety nine nine bucks. That's insane. The airdrop period. That's so pretty fucking. That is fire right there. The airdrop period will be automatically started on the contract and available for claiming on the mint page as soon as the collection is sold out. Utility. Other than being mad looking PFP collectibles, mad crows will also be able to be staked on the forest staking platform to earn a five percent boost on twigs on twig token produced so the mad crows are stakeable for a five percent boost in the forest staking platform so they're probably going to build a brand new thing for this and you can earn twig you can read more about crow crow staking here the fuck i hate reading staking your crows to the forest wow so i'm gonna need at least 100 crow or uh this is crazy mad. i just sold 20 mad yesterday or the other day Damn it, for six. <laughs> the tokenomics for Twig are extremely straightforward. 100% of supply comes from staking crows to the forest. Wow. So that's literally the only way to earn it? Yeah, Twig, what, twig? Uh, crow, crows in the forest. Yeah, the only way to earn it is 100% of the supply comes from staking crows to the forest. Max supply, 10 so they million. Use, Go ahead. They use mad meerkats like... Uh, coattails to do their own uh, staking being nice let's say twig per day twig per day per crow is four twigs per crow per day depending on how many crows are staked the staking period will last for one to two years until the max supply is reached since 100 percent of the supply comes from staking we will have to set up our own liquidity pools as a community as the first tokens get minted our team currently owns 159 crows that will be staked and used the twig for this purpose additionally each account will be able to stake additional booster nfts to further increase their twig production boosters each booster nft NFT will increase the production of all staked crows by a flat percentage. Max boosters per account, 5. Max possible boost, 25% times 5 mad crows. At the start, there will only be two types of boosters, but more NFTs can be added in the future to be added as boosters. Holy shit. Mad crow, 5% boost. Mad crows are coming, and they will be able to, able to be used on the forest as boosters for twig. Stay tuned for the mad crow mint announcement in the following days. Crow punks are 2% boost. We have, listen, the crow punks will finally have some utility. Ah, I bet those went up a little, maybe. Nest NFTs. The main utility for Twig is building the Nest NFTs. Nest NFTs will be used as our base layer for future breeding in the Crow Crow ecosystem. Holy shit, this is so deep. Total supply of 10,000 Crow Crow Nest CCN. Crow Crow Nest. I'm 
I gotta say, like, I mean, like being in the NFTs, I really love the the breeding idea and like how we did it with the crow punks. Yeah, I mean, it's fun. And it's an interesting way to mint. Uh, it creates scarcity. It creates a system that you have to be a part of in the NFT project. I mean, it's something that I would that I really hope we see the meerkats do in the future. And they were saying stuff about that. Let me look up crow punks real quick. See the price. I remember they were probably like what eighty. Oh shit! These are the ones I own. I got eight of these guys. Hold on see the price real quick these guys are at 94 crow they're still ugly as shit to me but they got utility now hooray <laughs> so the nest nfts the main utility for twig is building nest nfts nest nfts will be used as our base layer for future breeding in the crow crow ecosystem total supply 10,000 crow crow nest cost per mint 500 twig Minting a nest will burn the 500 twig use, which means 50% of all the twig supply will be permanently burnt when all nests are minted. Wow, 500 times 10,000 equals 5 million twig burnt. Additionally, any royalties generated from nest NFT sales will go directly toward, towards Crow Crow holders. Oh my god. If you own Crow Crows, you're just going to get fucking gifted. Love. Yeah. Tons of tons just tons mad of love. For being a holder. Wow, that's some OG shit right there. Staking starts May 31st. That is a month. That is like in 28 days. CC yeah. Nest Mint starts one week after staking starts. That was staking your crows to the forest. But hold on, here's more royalties for the mad crows or whatnot, the crow crow holders. More royalties. Around one month ago, we deployed our royalty system that automatically distributes royalties to Crow Crow holders. At the time of writing this, the smart contract has already received around 18k crow, 2.35 crow per crow. Mad Crow royalties will also be included in this system, so Crow Crow holders will be earning 5% royalty from Crow Crow, 10% royalty from Crow Crow Legacy airdrops. 10% royalty from Crow Punks, 10% royalty from Mad Crows, and 10% royalty from Crow Crow Nest. That's fucking incredible. When? Mint. Mint website goes live May 8th. That's in five days. Minting starts at May 15th. Okay, so the website goes live, but the minting starts on May 15th, which is, uh, what? 12 days from today mad airdrop and refunds automatically triggered after the sellout reveal happens 48 hours after the minting starts all these dates are estimated and subject to change we will be listening for feedback and posting daily previews on the discord see you all there signing out destruction e super Bowl yeah all in all i mean it's not just the mad crows it's also all of how these are how this is going to pump the crow crow nfts as well i mean yeah. it's kind of like the crow crows are your key think about it i heard all. about this last night and i walked out there and grabbed i i went out and grabbed two and then i grabbed one more because i was like you know what um it, it was the price was right it was good project looks great it's got a lot of promise man and holy goodness like how many projects do you see that are going to be uh giving this kind of rewards um i've only seen a couple and they're pretty successful it's a lot yeah no, for real. I mean, I got the two crows, but I've been thinking about going out and grabbing a third <laughs> before that floor price rises up again. Yeah, that is. Yeah. It's but already. It's already up there too. It's like fuck. I still think you snagged that one off of me last night, there, Deuce. <laughs> <laughs> I was on it, but you know it, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, it's not there. I and did not. I did I not. I couldn't. Too. I couldn't. It was uh, way too high for me. It was just way, I can't, but yeah, I think I got them in my tree houses too. I got these crow punks. I want to see those crow punks go up, you know, 2% in the nest, I think they said. So when the nest starts coming out, these will get some kind of love. So that'll probably be like a couple weeks by the end of the month. But yeah. The price of crow right now, man, those, those prices are like discounts today. Yeah, for sure. Now's the time to get them. Hey, I mean, I hopped all over it for that exact reason. Right. 
the NFT sharpened. I mean, it pretty much, it kind of gives Matt some hope, you know, and then a lot. And it kind of dictates the timeline for Matt that Matt is going to be used to, you know, lots of other NFTs could be partnering with that token for their minting process, mm -hmm. you know? And that's how Mad could be in the future. Just and and that's just one side of the coin for Mad. They'll be obviously doing Mad Sacks as well, and then maybe other collections will hop in as well. So there is, you know, some glimmer of light there for Mad Man. I'm I'm still a believer in Mad. And then the D Gens, I can't wait for that. What do you guys think about the I D Gens mean, right now? I think there's been a lot of silence on it i still think that they're really great looking nft and i love the M anything that's mad meerkat nft but uh we need to we just we're just kind of waiting you know on the sidelines waiting to hear a little bit more that's how i feel i feel like we're doing a little bit of uh hearing and healing a little bit here so like it's starting to see the the, the ecosystem turn a little bit stronger here which is a little bit uh, which is nice going that way uh now maybe some attention can get going towards the dgens you know like we can hear some solid solid details to it and get excited about it like i know what you mean like how it's been just quiet about dgens it's like they need it like that so when they say one more blurp bang bang at least i think yeah well let's check Let's check Matt again. Matt is sitting above at nine dollars and one cent. We're yeah, up there. Look at that. It's trying to we're change. Gonna see that. It's trying to change the way it looks or something, huh? Yeah, I think we're gonna get back up to that ten dollar Matt. Yo, that had to be one of the best here. ones going. What's that? Sorry. What was that? Hey, Feeny, which which was the best one going? I think Feeny got rugged completely. Just computer just went out. Oh, here he Super is. Super right. Maybe. I heard a bling. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to grab a cup of water. Be right back. Rugged out there. Feeny, you, you back? Yeah, I rugged out. Man, what are, you, are you still in M-Share? Yep. I'm sitting here. The one hour stochastic is pointing straight up. I see it. Like it do, off remember when it... Yeah. Yeah, but remember when we did this? We did this exact ah, same thing. We did. That's why I'm sitting in it. Just, we just had 10,000 come out, though. I know. Oh, it's stalling, though, but it didn't take a massive correction after this last little run. So I just don't think it's over yet. Yeah. I think we got some more room to go. What do you think, uh, Squeezy? He might be busy. I think we, what am I, I doing? We lost Squeezy. Squeeze, what do you what do you think about Crow, uh, Mad Crow? Oh, I like the art. I was gonna get one, um, but now I might get more. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's all contingent upon Mad, right? I mean, I'm not trying to spend nine hundred dollars for a hundred Mad, but if you want one, you're gonna have to. I think. I think it's gonna mint higher. I don't see. I think we're all like DGNs. I think some people are going to mint at 100. I think you're probably going to see it mint out at around 50. I'm not I'm not exaggerated about that at all. I don't think. I mean, the fucking price was at $3 at one point, you know. You could have had 100 just for like, you know, 360 something like that. So, if I'm if I'm trying to do it and ensure my spot I'm going to be one of the first ones in there, right? I, the, the way I see it, this is the way I see it. I'm going to know it now, right? The way I see it, <laughs> if I want one. I'm going to uh, get one for 100 and get my refund. Yeah. Right? Everybody do their best to know after this. Yeah. Yeah. Then that's the way I see it, you know? <laughs> because. Because if you if you got a lot of mad, you're sitting on mad, you stack mad, you uh, that fucking mad went down. You kept it, you held it, you staked it. You got 15 tree houses, and the D gems mint. They're not gonna mint for a while. <coughs> I hope it's not around the same time. You know that would suck because they they kind of put it in. Uh, they kind of said that they were trying to do it sooner. But I don't think Matt, uh, the Dijans will will be at the same time or the same day. I hope not. No, I'm just saying, put it in perspective, man. If I'm 
if I'm a true DJ and if I want if I want that Mac Pro like I wanted, I'm just gonna buy one at a hundred a uh, hundred mad. Then I'm gonna sit back and I probably wait till like fifty mad or something if that came to try to mint another one. Mm-hmm. But at least I got my one. I, mean, right. I can't I can't think like hey I'm gonna get two at fifty. I can't think like that. Right. You nice. Know? That's a good point. There's somebody. There's somebody right now that's got thousands of fucking mad, and all you need is two crows. Fuck. Yeah, well, it's gonna, gonna go and quick. And then they know, they know they've got the pick. They they can do as much as they want in five minutes, as much as they want. And nobody's gonna stop them. Yeah, when those whitelist people got an hour head start of us on the chronos first. Right? Yeah. Like whatever you want, ever you want, bro. So I don't know. For me, I'm not I'm not opposed, especially with the refund. I didn't know there was a refund. If there was no refund, I would still like consider it just because I want to ensure my spot. But come on, it's like free at that point. Yeah. So I'm, the mid price is that's what you're paying. I am so so check this out. Here's my logic. You're banking on the fact if I buy like 10 of them for 100 a piece, right? 100 mad each, right? Yeah. And that shit stalls out, right? And the hour, like an hour goes by, it stalls out, and it, the price goes down to like 20 mad, right? And then it sells out. Right. I would make back 80 bucks for each one, and initially each one is just 20 mad, right? Right. Exactly. And at that point, what's. But at that point, the same guy that bought it for 20 each were even now, right? Yeah. Right. And that's the real issue is do we think they're gonna mint out if they don't fucking mint out right and if they don't i, mean, I think you're right. right you're not even right because if it mints out up at 100 well do you have enough money in your bank if you wait until mad sitting at 12 bucks a pop you need to buy a hundred of them per you know that's 1200 bucks you know how much money you but got that's why it's your three and so if you if you wait for it to come down you're rolling the dice but if you get it low enough then maybe your hundred can mint you 10. If it comes all the way down to 10, yeah. bro, you know? Exactly. So that's why they've done it like this, right? So mm-hmm. like the, the to, like, alleviate the worry. So it's on a two-hour timer and goes down in five-minute increments, and the bottom price is 10 mad. So once you, once you start to see, once people start to see that price come down and down and down, like in the 10 mad, anybody that's hesitant is like, oh, man, you know, it's at 25 mad. May as well mint one. Oh man, it's at twenty mad. May as well mint three. Oh, it's at ten mad. I'm gonna mint five or ten, and then that's when you see that that mint. That's when you see it mint out like snap. That's why they've done it that style, right? To push people and to like make it look more appealing on the price. Because a lot of people, if they haven't done their own research, which not everybody in this space does, but that's why they got people like us to talk about it. So you know, a lot of people are gonna go into this that have haven't done any research and think oh wow 100 mad or wow 50 mad and if they just glance at it they might not even notice that it you know goes down in increments or that you even get reimbursed it's true i think a, yeah, I think I a lot no of idea people, about i think a lot of people are going to end up going and running and getting their mad the day of or or around i think you'd be smart and i think this is uh before you know i think this is going to pull people in with the whole buyback thing i do as well me too, you man. know. So I'm just saying, and get the your royal mad early, bud. That's all I'm saying. Get your mad early. It's like kind of marketed like a no risk kind of thing, but it's yeah. yeah. But I don't know. It's crazy. The only risk is, I mean, I think it'll sell out. But the only risk is if those motherfuckers on the same day, if they're on the same day, you can't do it. Who is? Oh, it's as the DJ. Oh, the oh, oh, you're talking about if they go mint yeah. on the same day? Oh, that's fucked up. Well, they shouldn't do that. Well, there's some type. Right. I don't think they'll do that. Right. They're under the. They don't want to compete. They don't want to compete unless. What would happen to? What would happen to Mad? Because then all that Mad would get burnt on the same day. It would pump. It would pump. Brand new. Who knows? Who knows what? That would be a wild, wild ride. I think we could very well see that. I think that's on the table completely. Will we go back to a twenty dollar Mad around then? Then we can forecast, you would say, maybe, or is that too much 
Is that too much FOMO talk? Uh, we're we're at I mean, last year right now. You guys think we could go back to the twenty dollar mad with DJs and yes, yeah, uh, mad do, crows? Yeah, especially especially with the with the recovery in in crow and the recovery in the in this ecosystem. I mean, if you had to ask me that, you know, first thing yesterday, more like when it was really bleeding, I probably would have said no. But we saw a really good, healthy correction. Um, so. I see a lot of money coming back into this space right now. People are feeling good. Yeah, I can I see know that. I am. I can see that. That other day, two days ago, when M share was at 1500 and all these buys were available, that was incredible. God. Listen, listen, there was there was some there was some killer projects on the floor at half price. You oh know, my and it was God. like, okay, you know what? Some people, I get it. Some people needed to be able to get some uh, some cover some of the losses because it was a hard day and um well um, i don't know some people had a, few, a little bit unstable so if you did and you're able to scoop something up man there was a few things there's some great projects coming here too and the stuff's coming back up north which is sweet notice the meerkats are back at like ten thousand crow goodness They're gracious 10, 9, I think, man. it's eleven thousand crow right now i swear know. that only lasts for 24 hours every time when it goes down like that i swear Every time I've seen it drop yeah. like that, it only lasts for 24 hours, and then for some reason, it's right back. It's insane. Because people are just eating up the floor. I mean, that's how I got my other meerkat. My most recent one was when it hit that 6,700 a couple of weeks ago. Um, you know, so that's the same I'm thing loving... that happened here. Well, that's what I picked up yesterday. I got my first. I got my first meerkat. I was sitting there, and I was like, holy smokes, look that's what just right. came up on the floor. And I'm like, and Crow was down too. And I'm like, guys, this is the perfect storm. I just didn't hesitate. I clicked buy, let's go. And that was, yeah, man, I, I picked it up under 7,000 Crow. And I mean, look at the floor now. So let's Crow. Let's fucking Crow. Yeah, how many How many let's people crow. fucking secured their, their fucking uh, airdrop because of that shit, bro? I didn't even oh, want to be in like week ago at this point you know what i mean like a couple of days ago i was like man what the fuck do i want that for you know now i'm like yeah but that's ten pros. that's <laughs> just the emotion that's the emotion of being in this space i mean there's a lot of ups and downs and bumps but um i mean this is a really big dip but in the beginning when i first got into with mmf i mean you know there was definitely some dark like some dark darker days and but you just ride it through, um, and then when it looks green again, and you 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 know you realize that you just had an emotional day because it was a hard day in the market. Ha it happens. It's cryptocurrency. Sure I mean, there wouldn't be ups without downs. For real, bro. But yeah, I mean, so you think you you would you would rather at this point in time you would be waiting, right? Counters going down. You would be waiting to mint a mad crow at like what price? I'd have to gauge the hype. That's it. Yeah. Because cause if there was no hype, right? But how could there not be hype when you're connected to Mad Bucks? Do we I think Crow Crow... Dude, there's, there's hype. The Crow Crow... That's hype. That's hype. The That's Crow super Crow hype. Price, yeah, the Crow Crow floor price show is the is a hype indicator on itself. They're at 680 Crow, yeah. right? Yeah, that is the indicator yeah. itself. Uh, overnight indicator. That should happen overnight. Yeah, it so hit a new high during low. Time. So let's say we expect it to sell out. Okay, now now you're playing tug of war with you need to at least get one. But there's how many of them? Right. How many of them? Three thousand three hundred. Oh, only three thousand. So that's that's pretty small, if you ask me. Right. Um, for how big their fan distribution is, like I feel like that'll get eaten up, and if the hype is Which makes it. Like one thousand percent, then they're gonna be flying off the wall. So what do we do? What what? So you're playing tug of war with get one at least, but you also want to get the best price, right? But at that point, does it matter? I think they're gonna Not sell to out. Like, I think they're gonna sell it pretty quick. I don't think it gets to fifty, and I would put I don't think so fifty USD on it. Not really. Yeah, I'll tell you my game plan is. <laughs> You're only saying that because you have the best <laughs> positions in all in all the world on all these uh, on all these spots on the MMF ecosystem. I saw your buy-in points, buddy. Good job. Yeah, you were claiming, Thank you, bro. Thank you. Uh, Squeezy, you were claiming that day. Oh yeah, I, I want like, that. I want that golden crow, boys. I know. I do. You got to mint a lot to do that, though. I do. I do. But God, you know, it's a golden crow. 
<laughs> look at, I mean, but look at this though. We're talking about the mad crows, but we're, we should really be celebrating the crow crows that we got. We're about to get, oh yeah, about to get paid through those guys too. That's like, it's incredible. So they have a dope system actually. Like I like their system. And I mean, if you look at it this way too. Um, with the distribution of MAD, like the MAD, the royalties for the mint to Crow Crow holders, and then your reimbursement for your mints. And if it this mint does happen right before the DGEN mint, you just have all that extra MAD, you know, um, pumping into your wallet to go mm, mint some DGENs To right just after. compound into so, DGENs? <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's a double win. It's yeah, double win. and if they're, the hype is real, we can bank on a sellout. Yeah, it's for real. Is happening, bro. Yeah. The DGens, no, no questions. And the mad, and the mad crows, it might not be, it might not mint out in the first ten minutes, five minutes, ten minutes. But I think they're going <laughs> to finish before the two-hour clock. You know, there's some pretty big people, I guess, inside of the community here, right? I mean, like, not just like ours. I mean, in the in this ecosystem, and to think, like, if you have, if you were at all thinking that you wanted to spend a lot of your mad on on the degen mints when you heard that there's only five well now all of a sudden there's a collection that's coming out that it, it is unlimited and jesus you christ a lot of mad oh. you can really control the fact that this thing sold out at you can at control this, this and guys we've been looking at wallets this whole week that have 70k yeah. mad 40k mad 100k mad i mean these guys could just walk in here and collect all the royalties and they can say, hey, guys, do we have now the new Pinnacle collection on the market? And now yeah. and that's how I see it. And that's how I see it. I do, too. Me, too. And that's so, how it goes. Oh, God. Kaka! <laughs> cool. Kaka! Cool. All you need is two I mean, and you can unlimited mint. Huh. Yeah, this is a good use of people's I mean, mouths when they had a lot. And then they're, they're going to burn all that, that mint, too. No, what are you saying? Just think about the rebate you would get from, you know, if it meant it at 100 you know i mean you were talking about five you get 10 per crow let's say i fucking aped in uh crow crows at 49 crow uh 49 crow per pro crow or whatever the hell it is uh -huh. and then you know i fucking uh collected a lot of mad i mean you could like you said control the fucking uh price control the floor of yeah mad, uh, uh uh crows i'm just That's saying that i i'm minting at 100 crow or 100 mad that is that is what that's going to happen yeah. if i wait till 50 then i'll have fucking two crows that's it that's what i'm looking at either two crows or one crow and i'd rather take my chance with one crow than watch it mint out at 70 crow or 70 mad if i was a whale i would go i would go rake up so many fucking crow crows right now in the market like i would I, too i would rake up like 50 of them literally and then i'm buying like unlimited whatever 20 like 40 fucking mad crows now you're getting paid and then you're gonna have enough to do all that nest bullshit it's just like you're winning at that point but too bad i don't have 100k yeah. <laughs> i'm hoping for 100 mad i'm gonna go for that right yet. yeah yeah 100 mad <laughs> get 100 mad and i'm telling you i'm i'm minting as I'm long as they're not the, the same day right I, you know, I saw, I had this, uh, not a calculation, but I had uh, at one point <coughs> 60 or something mad. Mm -hmm. And I was getting one mad a day just from that. So basically sick. Staking. Yeah, the most mad I ever held at one time was 970 mad. Wow. But Holy shit. When did you sell, that was, bro? Uh, before it bottomed out. Wow. But I'm definitely planning on retaking a position. I hope I don't miss the boat, but I mean, I'm still bullish on Mad. I just, you know, we just uh, been it's been shaky times for everybody, you know, for yeah. everybody, not just in, not just in MMF, not even just in on the Kronos blockchain, but everywhere. So, you know, everybody's doing what they can to uh, to do their thing and and build their bag. And I'm definitely still planning on minting a good number of DGENs. And now with this Mad Crow news, those as well. Um, I don't know how many I'll get of the Mad Crows. I'm, I'm kind of in the same boat as you, though. Squeeze is, you know, one for sure, possibly two. And, you know, by then, maybe even three. Heck, if they do go down to ten, Mad, yeah. maybe five. <laughs> you know. For sure, that's when you mint the, the most. I mean, I'm going to get one at a hundred, but I'm going to get more Mad, you know. I have more than a hundred. 
I just sacked up a bunch of mad right now just to make sure I got a little bit, and I'll keep an eye on the price action as we go. But, I mean, I feel like this is something I'm going to have to keep in touch on. <coughs> yep. Like, when you say there's a reason to buy a token to recover, tell me. Tell me what token has more reason than mad, you know? Like, that's going to have serious attention. I, I'm, I want to put it in my farm. I've got a meerkat. I want to go and stake it with that. I got some crow crows. I want to go put it with that. I gotta boost it to hell so that I've got as many mad tokens as I can get. I just gotta keep an eye on the market a little bit and be smart about it. I personally think that mad's gonna be riding at um, like at double where we're sitting right now, you know, I, like at that time. And yeah, um, I think that it, like I say, when I look across the board, like yeah, okay, every token has its purpose and they've all got their their rewards where you can where you've got them, but. But Mad has a serious purpose now, on on different levels, and I think that we're we're sitting at a pretty pretty sweet price range right now. And I mean, if we can, if the market goes down a bit more and we can get an even better pocket, a better bag, that's amazing. But an eight dollar and eighty four cent right now, a bag of Mad. Um, like if you asked me two weeks ago if I was going to get that, I was I was getting laughed at when I was predict when I was saying I was dreaming to wait for a fourteen dollar buy in. Maybe even twelve. And people were like, Scott, man, you're missing the boat. Well, eight eighty four, I don't know where the market's gonna go entirely, but that sounds like it's gonna be pretty good come time of that mint. Mm -hmm. Here's a thought. What's what's twig gonna be worth? Is it gonna be tradable? Like is twig something that we're gonna be able to sell? That we because you know, you use the twig, twig. to the nest. Exactly. NFTs. So what's the price here's a question. When twig and how much twig? <laughs> Like on value. <laughs> twig and novel tree. It's twig and like, well, is twig, twig, is twig, twig gonna be automatically oh go ahead. Is it gonna be tradable and, and um are we gonna see it moon? The main utility for twig is building the nest NFTs. Exactly. And nest NFTs will be used as our base layer for future breeding in the Crow Crow ecosystem. So Twig yeah, Twig will have its value. Twig will have its value, but it's also got some value just from its association with <laughs> NMF. If you yeah. if you want if you want like your shit to sell out, if you want, you know, some residual behind mad, you get in that fucking treehouse and you accept mad for your mint. But here's the thing too. Ten thousand here's the thing. Minting a nest will burn five hundred twig used, which means fifty percent of all the twig supply will be permanently burnt when all nests are minted. That's a lot of shit. 50% of the whole twig supply is permanently burnt at that point. Yeah, that's going to push the twig. That, the that means twig is fucking limited. 100%. And then the other thing is once you mint your nest NFT with Crocos using Mad for the mint, I'm sure that when they go for their next like mint slash breeding project, Mad will be used yet again. And, and we then, obviously have an interlude that there is going to be another mint with the nest right. after. And your mad crows are going to be 5% five five-time boosters. 5% 5 boosters, pretty much. So you get five bo boosters per account or whatnot. Taking my mad and I'm putting my boosters to it right now, fellas. Oh, not to, not to mention, not to mention that, I mean, if you're to anybody that has crow crows, I mean, go on their, go on their website because you have some crow sitting there. You have some royalties that you've already earned. Oh yeah, depending. Yeah, we like. I mean, I can claim it's not one point three crow from each one right now. Wait, you don't have to do anything. You just go there. Yeah, it's just holding. Yeah, it's one of those ones where you just hold it. Yeah, you just hold and you can collect shit. Did you mint one yet, Deuce, on the boomers? No, I'm about or is that to. coming up right after? The no. Right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I'm ready for that as well. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm probably gonna mint like four or five of them. I think I'm going to do, I think I have enough for three or four, three or four. I'd love this M share to go up. I can mint probably too. a it's couple just, more. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I mean, the one day stochastic is still pointing straight up. The 15 minutes just bouncing around here, but it looks like it might try to turning, trying to pull a curl. Dude, that was dope though. That was a dope conversation guys about crow crows and mad and just the whole spectrum of crow you know mad crows being involved with mmf and mad bucks and just everything the whole scope that was awesome guys thank you yeah boys that was a good talk thank you very much guys yeah. thanks deuce thanks squeeze thanks yeah. thank you for your time guys
Cro, cro, cro. Cro, cro. Cro. That's fucking cro. fucking crawl what up guys thank you so much for watching the end of the video now that was straight fire i don't know what'd you think about that discussion smash the like button if you liked it if you want to hear more smash the like button again that way i know we got to feed y'all with more of this shit but anywho i really like crow crows i own about 10 of them i think and i'm super excited for mad crows because I'm a huge bullish guy on Mad Bucks. Now, all this news coming out, it just shows me that the length and the longevity of Mad Bucks is here to stay. What else does that mean? Tree houses are priceless, guys. Tree houses are going to be printing money. Don't sleep on them, okay? You already know what happens. Every time these guys drop an NFT, it's bang, golden. So, I'm going to say less. But guys, if you're interested in joining the boardroom, Give your boy a holler. Find me on Twitter. Get at me. Uh, go at Deuce Lee. Yo, I want in the boardroom, Deuce. I'll add you as a friend and we'll start talking. I'll interrogate you for 15 minutes to make sure you're not a piece of crap. And if you are sliding in there and you are a piece of crap, well, my boys will eat you up like a pack of wolves. All right. Anyway, have a blessed day, guys. I'm super pumped, excited. Hope everybody's trying to get some gains. I guess. But anyway, have a good day. I'll see you guys later. Stay blessed. My name is Deuce. I'm your average crypto guy. Peace.